in this video we will learn about routing in angular application with examples routing is one of the most important concept in any application so routing is a concept which is used for navigation in between multiple pages by using the uri for example in the browser search for angular let's open this angular official website you can see here we have this domain and this is the home page of this website if i click on this features see here we have the features in the url and we have features page now if i click on docs the url has been updated and in this page we have some other features we have left side menu and middle document here if i click on uh, any one of this in side menu see the url guide and then forward slash then what is angular and we have the similar changes in bottom of this page in one single application there are multiple pages we can navigate in between those pages by using the url we can also type the url manually in the browser or we can also click links and buttons and we can navigate based on those actions so we have to add the similar features in our real time application we have created this bookstore application in our few previous video now let's open this app.module.ts file here we have only browser module and app component in this file but we have created some other modules in this application in our previous video we have created hot module we have created public module we have created shared and user module but there is no relation in between all these modules and app module when we run the application first time this app module will be used now let's create new component specific to this app module so open a new terminal here let's write this command ng gc and then com component name let's say about us then press enter here we have not specified any path so by default it will be added in the app module file see here we have this new component at the root level um, in the app module file here about us component is added in the declarations array now let's add one more component let's say component name will be how it works here also we have not specified any path see here here we got new component and this how it works component is added in the declarations okay now let's run this application by using this command ng serve dash wo see here the application is running on the browser um, we already knew that that angular application is the combination of multiple modules there are several built in modules uh, that are provided by the angular team there are few modules that we can have by ourselves in the development we can use all these modules in angular that will work for routing angular team has already created built in module that is router module to enable the routing in the existing application we can use router module uh, let's assume in this application we have only three components app about us and how it works and we do not have um, this extra modules just like just assume okay in app module file i want to use some other module and i want to add that module in imports array okay here in the imports after the browser module put a comma then add this router module see 
this router module is available in at the rate anglo forward slash router now in router module we have few methods for child also uh, used for routing we will discuss about this in later videos here we have to use for root now let's see the definition of this for root so right click choose go to definition see here we have to pass two parameters uh, first parameter is routes type is routes second parameter is configuration this is optional so for root method we have to provide at least one parameter the type is routes so copy this routes and go back to app module file here let's create new field const and routes type routes and it is a type of array now we have to pass this routes in the router module now add the necessary inputs this routes also available in same place that is why both are placed in a single curly braces now we have imported this router module here in this file if you want to use it in your application you have to export this router module so that all other components can use it so here let's create exports array here we have to pass the router module so copy this router module and paste it here put a comma that's it now we have set up the router module in this application now let's open this app.component.html file here let's remove everything from here and save the changes in the browser we don't have anything okay in the angular official website if i click on the docs see here menu bar is same content is updated then click the resources here also menu bar is same and this content is updated now click on events this part only changed the above content is remains same it means in angular application we need to define a place where the other components will get rendered now go back to vs code editor here in angular application we can define the place in app.component.html file because this is a default component that is used in the angular mm. to define that place we have to use router outlet all other components that we use in routing those will be placed here now go to this app module file in the routes we have to define the path so here we will create first object in this object we have to define the path in single quote let's say about us if the path is about us then we have to call um, about us component save the changes see in the browser um, in this home page we do not have anything uh, but in the url let's add about us see here we are getting this message from about us component now let's open this about us component here open this html file here we have the same message now instead of this message let's write some custom message let's say hello from about us save the changes go back to the browser see you 
we have the updated message now let's add the route for how it works component in app module file so copy this object put a comma and paste it below that you are change the route path uh, how it works then change the component how it works component save the changes in the browser in the url let's remove this about us and now route will be how it works see here we are getting the message from how it works component now in app.component.html file here let's create a div let's say this is a header okay copy this and paste it below that so here change the text as footer and save the changes you can see here we have header and footer in this how it works page now let's change this url about us here also we are having header and footer and we have the message from about us component it means this app component is layout for all these components header and footer are common for all the pages this middle part um, will get replaced by the component that we will use in the router if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos thanks for watching this video